Hello! Today we are going to be doing a headband, what I like to call a boho headband bohemian because it has a kind of a bohemian pattern to it. This is only half of it. By the end of it we'll be working two of these pieces and sewing them together with the mustard colored yarn. So we're using three different shades here, a brown, a mint color, dark brown, and a mustard color. And we're also going to be using Red Hearts Boutique yarn. Measuring your head, what I usually do is take a piece of yarn, wrap it around my head, get a feel, paste the yarn that you're going to be using for the project. This one is fairly stretchy, so it has a lot of give. So when I put this one around my head and measure it, go around your forehead to the back of the nape of your neck and bring the two ends together and make it so it, it has a little bit of stretch and it's tight a little bit so that when you get it on your head it doesn't just slide off. So when I do that with my head it measures about 19 inches around um, but we chain less than that because it's going to stretch. So this chain I chained and it chains to about uh, let's see about 17 and a half inches so and I want the number of chains to be in twos so we're going to make them an even number of chains and then once you chain an even number of chains chain two more at the end because you're going to be working a double crochet back through so here I'm at 88 and I'm holding this chain the end I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to go into where my 88th stitch so you're really chaining 90 and going, you're doing your first stitch. I'm going to do double crochet and doing your first stitch into the 88th chain stitch. So this entire row is going to be double crochet and I'll meet you back. Okay, so we've worked the row of double crochets and we're going to work into our last stitch and then we're going to switch colors. So you yarn through or put your hook through the last loop, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through both loops. Then here's where we add our green. So we're going to pick up our green, wrap it around our hook, and we're going to pull it through the last two loops. That creates our final stitch and our chain. It completes the stitch. So now we are going to kind of pull it taut and we're going to yarn chain one we're going to do double crochets in the next row I'm going to chain two and I'm going to turn the work this chain two is not going to count as our first double crochet because we have other um, things that we need to do and then I'll show you in a minute. So we're going to work these two tails in to our work as we move along. So kind of wrap them around the back. We're going to hide them back there. When you go through this chain you're also going to go through the tails. So we're going to do our first double crochet in this first stitch after this after the chain. So it's not going to be this chain, it's going to be this one. So you go through, you got your other yarns there, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through twice, yarn over, pull through the third time. And see, this is just going to end up being kind of like our border. This is our first double crochet. Our second double crochet was worked into the same stitch as the first one and it creates a V. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through three, and there's your second double crochet. And then we're going to work on like this. We're going to skip one, work into the next. We're going to yarn over, skip one, I'm sorry, just go through the same chain. Oops, I accidentally pulled 
through our tail, so I'm going to pull that back out. It can get a little um, cumbersome working with the tails, in, but it's easier than when you get towards the end. You don't have to weave them all back through with the needle. So there is our two double crochet or four double crochets. You do these into the same chains. So you have one chain here, it has two double crochets. Skip a, skip a chain and then the next one has two double crochets. Then you're going to skip a chain and go into the next one and work two double crochets into the same stitch. Then you're going to skip one, move to the next one. And you see I'm still working those tails in. When they get towards the end, they will begin to uh, kind of go a little wild. So here I'm just doing double crochets. Skip one, go into that one. And these double crochets will create a V pattern because you're crocheting into the same stitch. We're not putting any chains in between because we want to keep the stitch count. At a certain number and so here we have as you can see our pattern starting to form and so here we've got one two first stitch second third fourth so I wanted to keep my stitch count the same if possible so this is one we worked into this stitch there we skipped that one we have worked into that one and skipped that one so that's a chains on the lower level is one, two, three, four. And so up here you can see I've got one, two, three, four stitches. That's what I want to keep. So work this until the end and I will see you back at the other side. So I've ended the other green row and we're now going to add in um, this mustard color, which we changed over to color. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a spiky stitch throughout the whole entire row using single crochets. So we're going to single crochet the first two chain stitches or the first two stitches. Sorry, up there. Chain single crochet. We're working in the tail ends also into this stitch. So we've got two single crochets for our first two stitches of the row four. One, two, three, and this is row four. And we're going to single crochet into the double crochet spaces, space right there in between these two double crochets. So you're going to put your hook in underneath the chain and in between the two stitches. Pull up to the level so it's the same level yarn over, pull through, there's your single crochet. Then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, kind of work these hidden ones back. And then we're going to single crochet into the next double crochet spaces. Bring it up, pull through. That one little tiny straggler, there we go. Then single crochet into the next one, single crochet, single crochet. We're working the tails in, we're almost to the end. See, we got those little stragglers. Single crochet. And we're going to work this pattern all the way to the end of the row. And I will meet you back here at the end. That's what it begins to look like. So it has a little bit of a spike stitch. We've come to the end of this row. 
And what I'm going to do is we're going to add the new color. So we're going to frog that stitch. Frogging is just when you add the new color, you take out the old color. Then you're going to go back in and start the stitch. But we're going to finish it with the new color. So there we go. We'll pull everything a little bit tight. And we're going to work these ends. Um, we're going to do chain one and then turn. And then we're going to um, crochet in the tan color or the mustard color because we're not going to uh, we're not going to cut it. We're going to just chain it on in there with this color so we don't have another tail hanging out. So we're going to do a single crochet in this entire row and that's basically going to be the entire stitch. So we're going to go into this very first stitch here We're going to work in those ends. The mustard and the blue are getting worked in. And this yarn that I'm using, the blue yarn, is a brand named called um, Unforgettable. And I will post that information inside the um, instructions. So here we go. We have our first row and I will meet you guys back at the other end. We've completed the row of blue and now we worked our mustard stitch. We weaved it in as we went along. So it's over here at the end for us to pick up. We're still going to um, take out the last stitch of frogging it and then we're going to pick up the mustard color there we've got two we're going to drop the blue pick up the mustard and pull through that will give us our last stitch so we're going to chain one going to turn the row, turn it, and then um, and cut the blue because we're not we don't need it. Here we're going to single crochet into the first stitch. We're going to grab that yarn too, so we're going to hide the blue tail. So we've got our first single crochet. So we've done our first single crochet and now we're going to work into the bottom edge of the blue rows down here. So we're going to do another spike stitch but it's going to be over those rows underneath. So what you do is you kind of look to see where the top chains are. These are chains one, two, three, four. Um, so what we're going to do here, it's a little interesting, is we're going to, the second chain we're going to go just straight down into the middle of those two down here. Bring it up to the top, pull through, single crochet. And then we're going to do a single crochet in the next chain. We're working in that blue yarn too, hiding it. And then we're going to go down again in between the next these two. Uh oh, I just pulled something through. That keeps happening to me, but that's okay. So, in in the middle of these two orange or mustard stitches, we're gonna go down, pull it up, pull through, single crochet into the next stitch, then down into the middle of these two
we're going to work our way like that across the entire row. So single crochet into the next stitch, down in between, single crochet, and single crochet in between, two stitches. So that's what it's going to be, look like, and I will meet you at the end. We have come to the end of row seven, and now we've single crocheted the entire row in the mustard all the way up to the end, and we're going to switch to turquoise now, and so we're going to frog that stitch like we did the other ones. So you pull it out. And then we're going to go back in, we're going to chain one through, and then we're going to finish off the stitch with our turquoise, like that. Then this last row is going to be different, so and I'll look, come right back to you. Okay, so we've got our first blue. I'm going to go ahead and snip the mustard color because we don't need it anymore and then we're going to just work with the turquoise on this last row and I say last row because it is going to be the last row we do and we're, we're going to repeat this entire section and then sew it together at the end so this is just going to be a, a row of single crochets Trying to see which one. So we're going to do a single crochet row of the turquoise to the very end, and I'm going to work these two ends in. See, so I'm working these loose ends back in like we did before, so you don't have to go back through and do a bunch of sewing at the end. So work this entire row single crochets and when we turn the video back on or the next edit cut um, we'll show you how to piece together these two pieces to make your completed headband. So now we're at the end of the row here and I'm gonna go ahead and snip the blue and then we're going to just yarn over and pull through the last loop and then just kind of t tighten it off like that. So then we have our finished pieces. What we're going to do is make two of these. Oh, looks like I got a little fray in there, but that's okay. I'll make sure to tuck it back in. So what we're going to do is make two of those, then we're going to put them together like this, and that's going to be your finished headband. So once I make the second one, I'll come back and we'll show you how to um, sew them together using the mustard colored yarn. Okay, so I'm going to start off here in these first two top stitches going through the bottom rows and just do a normal sewing stitch. I'm going to bring it up to right towards the end of the where I've made a little knot but I'm not going to close it up and then just keep working your way into the top of each of those stitches. Pull it through hopefully not getting it tangled up. I'll do a couple like this and then show you what they look like. So when you actually turn it over, it's going to look like that. 
and I'll show you at the end. We'll see you then. We've come up on the end of our piecing it together. So what I'm going to do for the very end is I'm going to go in to the edge, the very last stitches, um, and tie it together. I'm using my hook because I just think it's easier than using needles. Just pull it on through and then I'm going to go back through and just kind of try to um, tie it off. Actually, I think I might go back through the same stitches, bring it back through. And then I'm going to take that loop, put, put the other end in and tie a knot like that. Just make it go tight. Then I'm going to cut it off about a few inches down the row and uh, work that back in probably down here and into the gold to hide it, the tail. So this is the finished piece together headband. That's the, this is the wrong side, which looks, I like the way these stitches look. This is the, okay, so once you've fit completed both sides, we're going to join these two pieces together like this. These are my two tails. I still need to work those in, but we're going to join these two pieces together in the same way we did the middle stitch. And after you've completed that, and this way can be a little bit more difficult, but you just need to match up as best you can the edges and match them with the stitch. Here is the finished headband. This is the seam side, which is going to go on the bottom and the back. I should have used the brown here because I don't like the way that that looks. So I recommend using the brown to go ahead and seam it together. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you enjoy wearing your new boho headband.